Historical place where the story of Addis Ababa began. Founded in 1886 during the reign of Emperor Menelik, the city has now counted 127 years. Addis Ababa. Addis Ababa is a diplomatic capital of Africa, seat of African Union, Economic Commission for Africa, and many other continental and international organizations. In addition to being the seat of international and continental organizations, Addis Ababa has also become home for many citizens of other African countries. These African expatriates are living here as students, footballers, diplomats, and business persons. I'm uh, Don Rai Gok from South Sudan. Uh, South Sudan actually is my country, my national is South Sudanese. Mm. And I've been living in Hadis for uh, the last two years. I came here as the student. Um, I was studying my first graduate study in, 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 Addis, in, in, Addis, Ababa, in Addis Ababa University, uh, studying federal study and actually before then I was also uh, a student in the same university for my undergraduate study where I did uh, my BA in political science and international relations so that's the reason why I come in Addis. My name is uh, Gabriel Ahmed Shaibu, yeah. I'm a Ghanaian professional footballer in Ethiopia, yeah. I play for Dede Beat FC. Yeah. I'm by the names of Robert Odonkara. I'm a Ugandan by nationality and birth. Yeah, and I'm playing my professional football in St. George. Like these three guys, Michael James and Jason Peters have also made their life in Addis Ababa. Jason from South Africa and Michael from Kenya. Jason Peters has lived in Addis Ababa for the past 18 years and currently working in one of radio stations in Ethiopia known as Afro FM 105.3. His fellow African compatriot, Michael James, also lived in Addis Ababa for the past five years and now running his own business in the city. Both Peters and James narrate their first impression of Addis Ababa as follows. Addis Ababa was not like this when I came here. I came to Addis Ababa in the old terminal. That was the main international terminal, the terminal that now you're using for domestic flights. Um, the roads were very bad. Uh, there was a lot of congestion in the streets. It was a very small town when I came here. Not many people living in Addis Ababa. It was very quiet. And I came the same year that the new federal constitution was enacted, in around 1994. Before I turned off thinking of coming to Ethiopia, my family have lived here for quite long. My dad has lived here for almost like 18 years, quite long. So, though I didn't come before, but I used to hear, he used to tell me how Ethiopia is, it is and how grateful country it is. And I used to wish, like, I should one day come and work in Ethiopia and, like, finally made it and work here. Bode International Airport was the first place where Dod Raj, Ahmed Jibril, Roberto Donkara, and other African citizens were also introduced to Ethiopian people in the continental capital. Addis does not, is not only uh, Ethiopian capital. It is also a continental capital, where Africa Union is also located. Uh, and I believe once the African Union government uh, vision that is being advanced by the African leader is realized, so Addis Ababa will, will remain a continental city where every citizen of, of, of Ethiopia, of not of, not of Ethiopia, of the African uh, nation, will feel. Uh, being uh, part of that uh, land. The one I arrived here, yeah, uh, I think it was very great. I, w I was very happy to see how then uh, it was very great. I was very happy, you know, because the the way I arrived here, the reception was very good. My team and everybody they came to the airport to welcome me, and I was very happy the way they welcomed me. It, it, 
capital Ethiopia here. Yeah, it was great. Really, it's good, you know, when everybody comes to Addis Ababa. Huh? Really, the fine because this is the headquarters of OAU. So. All Africans really try to see that at least we have to reach where there's the headquarters of OAU. So that's why you see most of the foreigners are coming to Ethiopia. And I'm lucky I'm in Addis Ababa, so I can't say I need to be there because I'm here. Addis should be the capital city of Africa. And like we, should, we, we all expect all Africans to be in Addis Ababa. And like maybe I should say like we should not have barriers for any African wishing to come to Addis Ababa. We should have free movement within Africans who wish to come and visit Ethiopia. Hospitality is in the blood of all Ethiopian people. For people of Addis Ababa, there is no exception. They always give warm-hearted hospitality and support for foreigners they come across. Addis Ababa is the capital city of Africa. So hosting Africa here in Addis Ababa you should be expecting a lot of hospitality to the people. Feel like the nature of the people itself and the, how they socialize with people and how they interact with people show, gives you a very positive hospitality. 17, 18 years is the amount of time I've lived here. Um, when I first came, it was the neighbors, whenever there was a, a festival like Maskal, Tamkat. Uh, any festival at all, even um, you call it Yamatu uh, Mikhail, the yearly Mikhail, uh, we would be called over to the neighbor's house, there would be Defodabo, there would be the traditional Ethiopian coffee ceremony, treated as just, you know, one of the family members. I can't say anything negatively about the people of Ethiopia because if the people weren't good for me, by now I would not be here. Actually, I've lived with the people, the people like me, and I like them too. So there's nothing bad I can talk about the Ethiopian people. They're good people. They hold me well, we communicate very well, so I really appreciate them, let them keep them up. Addis Ababa is beautiful. Its unique landscape determines how its people live and work. The city is composed of heterogeneous society and city life is so amazing and interesting that citizens of other African countries love most and cherish. Actually, I just like seeing the people, you know, the, the, the town is really congested with people and the people are nice. So really, I love the, the city as a whole. Me, I'm somebody who is like an outgoing kind of a person. I love natural things. I love, I love seeing, going to the museums and getting historical history part of Ethiopia, how Ethiopia came to the existence and like, why do we even see Ethiopian like, being recognized in the, in the Bible. So that's what makes me like get interested in Ethiopian history. I traveled to so many country, uh, cities in Ethiopia. I've been to Bahadur, I've been to Gondar. No, there is so much history. I, uh, I, can't, I can't even describe how historic Ethiopia is. Yeah. is there are, so they preserve every historic eminence and everything is around there. If you go there, you see everything. And that makes Ethiopia a very historic country. Addis Ababa is a historic city in the sense that it is a place where the competition of African Cup of Nations was started in 1957. There are also competent football clubs which were founded and compete in the city. For Roberto Donkara and Ahmad Jibril, it is a great pleasure to play football in Addis. I'm really privileged to be in Addis Ababa. Addis Ababa is a cool country. I mean, it's a cool city, and the country is good as Ethiopia is a white, you know. And the football is improving. When you see the kind of football Ethiopia is playing, really, it's amazing. Everybody's just saying, "Wow, this is the Barcelona of Africa," you know. They're playing very good, and really, Saint George has really moved a step ahead in the African football continent. So I'm really very happy and privileged to be in Saint George. I've been here now for three seasons and actually I'm not saying that I'm praising myself really I've been trying to do my best and I've been working hard with my teammates and the team as well so everybody's after me and I'm trying to do my best and see that at least I excel and I improve on my football career.
<laughs> wow, it's, I feel very great, you know. I feel like my country, you know, Ethiopia is my, I feel like this is my country. Because as everybody knows, Addis Ababa is the capital of Africa. So if you live in Addis Ababa, you feel very, yeah, like freedom, there is freedom, there is peace, and everything, friendliness and all kind of things. Yeah, I feel like home in Addis Ababa here. Yeah, yeah, this is my home. Robert Odonkara and Ahmad Jibril are not the only citizens of other African countries who have enjoyed living and working in Addis Ababa. Jason Peters, Michael James and other Africans also feel lucky to live and work in Addis Ababa, the seat of African Union and many other continental and international organizations. It's a great opportunity for me. I have the opportunity to meet a lot of um, international uh, staff which are here in Africa working in different countries for different reasons trying to accomplish different feats um, also being in the radio working at Afro FM it is the only English radio station so I get to be the first person to tell the international community you know what's happening what's going on uh, you get invited into events that normally if I had been in South Africa uh, working in a radio station the, I would still not be able to meet a lot of the people that I do get to meet I've been able to meet the ambassador of the United States to Addis Ababa, which means of course that uh, this person is is the head of African delegate of the African delegation, the United States uh, delegation to Africa, which is a big deal. Uh, also, being able to uh, meet a lot of the people that are. Uh, making and breaking the news stories uh, that are happening in the African Union. I was here during the 50th anniversary, the Golden Jubilee of the African Union. That, as an African, is a huge deal for me. And uh, I'm th very thankful to Ethiopia for being my home for the last 17 years. And uh, hopefully until uh, 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 many more years after this, because I have no plans on leaving. Working in Addis, for me, it's like a great opportunity because, like, I've if my dad could have lived here for more than 18 years and he loved and he keeps on living here and like I used to dream like let me come and live here because working in Addis Ababa gives an opportunity to explore the other sides of Africa you get to meet people from all over the Africa like you never wished you never meant like to meet them in any place and maybe probably in Nairobi having Addis Ababa being the capital city of Africa it exposes it expose you to other opportunities meeting people and great opportunities from within Africa and seeing how Africa is growing. I feel very like traditionally to play here in Addis Ababa because sometimes if you play in Europe, I play in Europe before, I, I went to Italy, I stay in Italy for six months, I, I live in Sweden for two years but I don't feel like culturally, I don't feel happy in Europe but when I live here I, I'm, I, I'm a Muslim so Ethiopia is a very cultural you know, country. There are Muslims, there are Ethiopia, there are Orthodox Christians, they, are, they all live together and it's very unique. I'm so happy. It's very nice. Naturally, many people wish to live abroad for many reasons. When they reach to a new destination, they might miss the comforts and joy they leave behind at their home country. But in Addis Ababa, many citizens of other African countries easily feel at home. I never feel that I was actually away from my home. And that's why I said South Sudan is my home, where I was born, and Ethiopia is my home, a second home. And that's why I said it's a home away from home. So that makes me uh, proud about this. I, I never feel actually uh, that I'm, I'm, I'm totally away from my country. I feel Ethiopia, mainly the Addis Ababa, is, is home. Ethiopia has been like one of the greatest wonderful countries I've ever been. I've traveled among some few African countries and I consider Ethiopia as like not my second home, it's my home. It's my home. Addis Ababa is growing very fast. Its new hotels, roads, market centers and other infrastructure are amazing features of Addis Ababa. Citizens of other African countries who are living in Addis Ababa say the city represents the African Renaissance. Infrastructure has changed. Uh, like I said, we arrived, me and my family arrived in uh, the small terminal, uh, in, in the now domestic terminal. Uh, you can say that the, the airline itself has changed. Ethiopian Airlines is what I came on. I've flown many times on Ethiopian Airlines since um, the roads. I mean, Bole 
Wally Road was not this size when I came, it was very small. There was no ring road. Uh, there was uh, not a lot of green areas on Bole Road. It was very dry, dusty. Um, there was a lot of uh, congestion because the roads were so small. There was not a lot of international schools, international organizations. Supermarkets were uh, not very uh, widely available. Uh, you kind of had to look around for things that you needed. Now everything is readily available and comfortable for expatriates and um, African diaspora that are uh, making their migration over to Addis Ababa. Once you move away from Addis for some time, then you started to come back, and then you will begin to discover that a certain change has occurred in in the city. Construction, or let's say infrastructure, shows how the country is growing. It shows how the country is developing. If we really talk about developing state we mean that the infrastructure itself is growing. If life doesn't become expensive, life doesn't, be, doesn't grow itself, doesn't mean that the country is growing. Unless there is somehow a range of a graph going higher, that's when we see like the country is growing and the infrastructure plays a lot in showing that the Ethiopia is growing. Addis Ababa is one of the safest and peaceful cities in Africa. Foreign tourists and resident expatriates from all over the world can travel anywhere else in the city at any time, devoid of hostel and tussle. I've been to a lot of African countries. I'm not going to mention names because it would seem a little bit of a competition. Um, in all 18 years that I've lived in Ethiopia, I've never locked my gate. I've never locked my front door. And uh, if you don't believe me, you can even call up my mother that I live with. Um, the safety here is unprecedented. I've never seen it, not only in Africa, but anywhere else in the world. The security is on its own level. Everyone gets along. There's no need to fear things. Um, the, the security forces, whenever there is a problem, it's something usually small. Something happened in a bar. Someone got into an argument. These kind of things. But never a huge uh, problem between uh, uh, society not getting along or even uh, burglary or robberies. You don't hear about these things in, in Ethiopia. Coming to security, Ethiopia is one of the best. I do go out, I hang out with my friends, sometimes say let's have a walk. And uh, we find like the security, it's 100 plus, no doubt about it. You feel like you're more secured. The police themselves, like, they'll stop you and ask you like, Hey, where are you from? From Kenya. Do you feel safe? So like, if a police can ask you such kind of question, like, they feel like you should be more protected, like, you should be very grateful and thank God, like, Ethiopia is more one of the safest places. My time in, in Addis Ababa has always been, been a time of, 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 of happiness. Yeah. So I don't have anything to recall that has been very, very threatening to my heart. So my life, my time in Addis, as, as always, and I believe will always remain happy life. Foreigners have so many experiences to share in connection with cultural shocks and their novelty to the environment. Many experiences in taxis, uh, very many experiences in taxis, usually uh, quite light-hearted jokes. Um, a lot of people don't expect me to speak Amharic, um, and it's quite entertaining to hear some of the things that people say. Uh, sometimes people will guess uh, trying to guess what country I'm from and uh, sometimes I'll just keep quiet and sometimes I'll turn around and say uh, <laughs> which uh, roughly translates, I know this is for an English audience uh, roughly translates, so instead of asking each other why not ask me directly, usually it's absolute shock on their face uh, and they're, they're completely uh, taken aback by the fact that uh, I can actually understand what they're saying, they don't expect it <laughs> Once you start living in Addis Ababa, it will be part of your life It's people Eye-catching views of the city and the beautiful streets are unforgettable. I've been around, yes I was, all over the world. But I couldn't
far. 